Hi everyone, welcome to FA Channel. We're all about celebrating our technology and creativity. In today's episode, I want to answer one of our audience question about if Ready Player Me avatar can be used on Twitch. We haven't talked about Twitch at all in this channel, and then we have covered a lot of topics about using Ready Player Me avatar and the Red avatar. So yeah, in today's episode, let's go through the process and we'll show you how you can use these two avatars to streaming game. So if you have Ready Player Me avatar, then you will, you, we can use animes as the face tracking tool. And then also you have to download OBS is one of the free broadcasting software I mentioned before. With this three tool, you can, you can use Ready Player Me avatar to do the streaming. And if you have VRoid avatar, like what I have, the VRM file for your avatar, then you can use VC face as a face tracking. It's an easier way. I'm just talking about the two easier ways to use for your avatar for streaming. Now let's get started. So with Ready Player Me avatar, we have created a video about how to use a Ready Player Me avatar on animes. All you need to do is go to the URL animes.readyplayer.me, make your own, create your own avatar and download the GLB file, and then convert the GLB file to dot avatar file using animes editor. And then you can just start anime software and import avatar. Now it's time to start OBS. When you use OBS, you will see on the setting, or you will see the stream tab and then all the list of the server will show up. And you will see most of the major streaming server. You can just choose Twitch. Once you click on once you click on that, you will you can log into Twitch. They will send you a verification code. They just need to log into that. Once you log in and apply, you will see that all the Twitch windows pop up. On the left side, you can show it. You can like, you can write more details about the title and categories and stuff. And then on the right side, will be all the comments. So when you stream, you will be able to receive and see other people's comments. Now, when all this setup is done, it's time to add other sources on OBS. In OBS, you will see on the, this source manual, it's almost like Photoshop. It will be layers of source you can choose and then which one on top, it will be on top layer of the window. So now, now before you choose the sources, you should start a game that you wanted to stream. So in our case, we choose Fall Guys, which is the game I'm playing lately. And now you just uh, choose the start a game and then on the source part, you can add the this game controlling icon, game capture as one of the source. And create new, you can name it, different kind of name if you want. And then, then it will show what kind of mode. And then you will see this window pop up. You can choose, uh, change to capture specific window and then choose the game that you want to stream. By some reason, sometimes it doesn't really start or show up on the window. You have to close OBS and restart again, run as the ad administrator, and then it may show up. That could be one of the reasons it's not working. Make sure your um, game window is open. So now you can add the face tracking tool, which is the animes. We already imported the dot avatar file into animes. Now you just have to add these animes as one of the source on OBS. Then you will see this window pop up with your avatar show up. You can change to the green screen. We like how they have different setup like this one. You have like a game chair in the background. So it's like a great setting for, for streaming games. And then you can adjust the size of your Avatar, enable virtual camera, which means you can use animes as a webcam. And then go back 
to OBS, going back to OBS on the source, you have to add the video capture device, create new, and then now the window is the one you're streaming, but it has the watermark. If you want to take off the watermark, don't forget to go back to animes and then go setting, general, hide animes, watermark, and then restart the virtual camera. Now the watermark is gone. And then if you want the background to be transparent, you have to go choose filter on animes layer on OBS, add effect layer on effect layer, layer color key, choose this green screen color. Once you click on it, you will can crop, crop the background screen off. Then now you, your background will be transparent. And don't forget to do some adjustment to make sure there's no green screen behind you because you wanted to have the background of the game. Now it's almost the time to stream because it seems like all set up is done. Just make sure on the OBS, it, the top layer is your avatar layer because as I mentioned, it's like same with the Photoshop. You want, you, depends on what kind of image, which image you want to show on top of the screen, you have it has to be on the top of the source layer. When the image is done, now it's time to add audio. Audio is almost same with uh, almost same with camera. You just have to add another layer. Make sure the game sound and your own voice, and then the volume it's in the green range, so it's not gonna be too loud. You can adjust whatever you like. Then yeah, then once you test everything is done, you can start stream. That's how you start stream your game with your uh, Ready Player Me avatar. Now let's go check how it looked like on Twitch. This is how it looked like on Twitch with your Ready Player Me avatar. Looks pretty good. Now let's talk about if you you don't have Ready Player Me avatar, but you have Vroid avatar like me. So it's basically the same thing. You can still upload the VRM file to animes and then do the whole process. The problem is you still have to convert it. So it's not the easiest way if you have a VRED avatar. But if you like the setup, like on animes, like you can see, you can add this fancy game chair. So if you still want to use the uh, VRED avatar on animes, we also made a video before how to do the whole process. So click on the video. So when you use VC face as the face tracking software, the difference is instead of remember when we're using the animes, you have to add the video capture device. So instead of adding video capture device on the source on OBS, you have to add another game capture. So when you go source, you add this uh, game controller icon and on the property menu, choose specific window. Now you can add you will see the window, the VC face will show up. So add the VC face, the VC face and allow transparency. Once you add this, like if you allow this transparency, apparently you don't have to do the color keying because you don't have to do color keying. So there's no effect should be better performance. You can try both and see which one's better. And then once you lay out nicely and then press the stream button, it's ready to stream. Now let's go check it again on Twitch how it looks. So yeah, there's two examples we have right now, one on Ready Player Me, Ready Player Me animes and VC Face with Vroid Avatar. If you want to stream on uh, with Switch or PS4 or other PCs, you need to get a caption card that have the pass through feature you can check on Amazon the capture board. So basically, it's instead of the game window, it's uh, getting the image from the caption board. So if you want to stream from different device, not different from from other device, you can use that caption board. So yeah, now you have both way to do it. It's quite simple if you know how to use OBS. I mentioned so many times in our video, this is a great tool if you want broadcast and recording videos. I'm using OBS for every single video I'm doing right now. So it, it is a great tool. 
And plus we have a fun great news to share is that we will start Twitch. We're gonna create one Twitch channel by playing a Japanese, simple Japanese game and then learning Japanese at the same time. Especially if you know nothing about Japanese. That's like, I'm like the beginning level learning Japanese. So from middle of July. So we'll let you guys know once we decide a date and then yeah, hope you're gonna join us there. Okay, cool. That's it for today's video. Let me, let me, let me know if there's any question. <laughs> Please subscribe our channel for updates every week. We really hope to bring the most helpful videos to you and for enjoy your virtual experience and have fun. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.